In my line of work, presenting the highest quality image is key. Start building your website today at squarespace.com. Use the offer code CARL to get a 10% discount. I'm Carl Taylor, and this is my Squarespace. Okay, we're gonna look at a really simple technique for just adding a little bit of extra color in your sky. This is so simple, really is a, just a couple of minutes work. Um, lovely image of these cliffs here in this scene uh, with these rocks running out into the distance. Um, but the sky is a little bit pale and a little bit bland. So I wanna just maybe add a little bit more boost or saturation, uh, a little bit more vividness into that sky. So what I'm gonna do um, to achieve that is create a new layer. And I'm just gonna create a new empty layer by clicking down here on the new empty layer button. And there's my empty layer. Uh, then I'm gonna use my color um, picker tool so that I can sample the color. And I'm actually gonna choose a color um, from down here in the rocks, this sort of nice warm um, sort of browny color here, orangey brown, and let's just drop that into um, the palette there. And what I'm gonna do is choose a gradient tool. And there's my gradient tool. And I'm gonna check my settings here. And I want the gradient that goes from the color to transparent. And that's what I've got there, foreground to transparent. Then I'm gonna run that gradient by dragging it down across my image to about here. And where you let it go and position it depends where the best part is. You can experiment with that. Now that doesn't look very good as it is there. You can see that kind of all foggy down here in the, uh, over the top of my cliffs and sort of, sort of very misty looking over there and taken away from the sky. So let's just flick that on and off and see the difference there. So you can see it's actually made it worse in this case, but not for long, because what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select a different layer mode. And what I'm gonna go for here is I'm gonna try uh, vivid light and there we go, vivid lights worked as I expected. And if I flick that layer on and off, you can see how that's boosted that color in that sky, uh, saturated in and added in all that extra warmth. We do have a problem that it's running over the cliffs a little bit too much there. Now there's a couple of ways that you could deal with that. You could move this layer using the move tool and shunt it upwards away from the cliffs, but then obviously some of that saturation will disappear out of the sky. So I don't wanna do that. So I'm just gonna go back in my history to where it was. Or alternatively, you can just rub out some of uh, that orangey area that you added in on that gradient with the eraser tool. Now you can do that with a mask in case you wanna rub it back in again. But in this case, I'm just gonna use the straight eraser tool there, select a brush size that's suitable with a softest edge. And actually that probably was a little bit hard there. I'm gonna soften that up a little bit more. Um, and I'm just gonna gently Actually, the opacity was a little bit too high, so I'm gonna drop the opacity of that brush so it's not so strong. Just gently rub that out through there like so. Now, if we look at that sky, we can see how we've now got that lovely, vivid tone in the sky that we didn't have before. And if I flick that on and off, you can see the difference there. And you can experiment with different blending modes as well. Um, you could have tried a uh, multiply, you could have tried an overlay mode. Um, different uh, methods of blending modes work quite well, sometimes color. There we've just added a simple gradient color over the top, which can almost act just like a, a simple sort of graduated color filter that you'd put on at the camera stage. But in this instance, the uh, vivid light setting has worked really nice in bringing up those pastel pinks and brightening up the sort of yellow highlights in the clouds as they existed. Now further to that, another great tip is if you want to, you can also use a new layer on top of that with an uh, airbrush set to a specific painting color and just paint in slight areas in the sky as well. But there we go, that's worked really nice for a little two minute uh, adjustment setting in Photoshop to enhance your sky. My passion is photography. Whether shooting for clients or teaching students, the excitement of great photography never gets old. 
check out my website for free training, a complete range of courses and even photography workshops. Thank you for watching.